Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, my lovely readers. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's English class, and today we are going to continue the story that we have started last week. Who can help me to remember the title of the story? Me. Can you read it? Yes. The art project. The art project. Well done. So, before reading the story and exploring new things about our story, let's read the day and date. So, I need your help to read the day and date. So, my lovely students, let's read the day and date. Come on, everyone. Look over here, try to read the day and date. Try. So, what's the day? Monday. And what's the date? May 18, 2020. Thank you everyone for trying to read the day and date. Okay, so are you ready to start the lesson everyone? Yes. Everyone, come on, say it with me. Let's say yes. Okay, so put your hands in the air and shout. I want to hear you. It's English time. Great. So now I want you to get your English book because we are going to use it. Okay, get your English book. Grab some pencils and come back. And now let's read the objectives of the lesson. So let's read it together. Look over here everyone. I can identify the problem and steps to solve it. And I can identify the solution. This is what we are going to learn at the end of the lesson. Okay, everyone, now I want you to open page 376. Let's read the story together. The Art Project Central question. How can we protect the Earth? Read to find out about saving Earth's resources. Community Center is having an art contest, said Grace. She was holding a flyer. Mrs. Simon read the flyer aloud. Everyone agreed they would like to enter the art contest. Mrs. Simon said, Our classroom supply of art materials is low because it's the end of the year. I'll check with Mrs. Rice to see what she has. Mrs. Rice, the art teacher, didn't have any art materials. I won't be getting a supply until next year, she said. The whole class was disappointed. How can we enter the art contest without art materials? Asked Grace. Maybe we can raise some money. We could have a bake sale, suggested Hal. I don't think there's time, Mrs. Simon said. Let's use the paper in the recycling bin, Pablo said. Pablo did not often raise his hand. He rarely spoke up. So everyone was surprised when he offered an idea. Paul said, I'm curious about your idea. I want to learn why you would use old paper. So we can save Earth's resources, replied Pablo. When we use recycled paper, we use natural materials and save trees. We can also use this old string and these wire hangers, added Grace. Now the class had to decide what to do with the materials. Pablo had another idea. We can fold the paper into cranes. Then we can attach the cranes to a frame to make a mobile. Mrs. Simon taught the children how to fold the paper into cranes. Then everyone helped attach the cranes to the mobile. On the day of the art contest, the paper crane mobile hung in the enormous community center room. The huge space was crowded with art projects. From far off, the class spotted their project. The crane
green mobile swayed gently as people walked past. From a distance, the paper cranes appeared to be softly flying. The judges checked each art project. They looked closely at the crane mobile. The paper crane mobile won the prize for the most creative use of materials. As the class proudly accepted their prize, they could not stop grinning. Grace exclaimed, we made our art project and we saved the earth at the same time. Make connections. What do the children do at school to help protect the earth? Tell about a way you can help protect Earth's resources at school. Okay, everyone, after reading the full story, let's remember some events that happened in the story or we have talked about it last week. So the story is about an art contest or project. Well done. And the students are planning to participate or join the art project or contest. So they have a problem. Their teacher is talking to them and she wants them to participate and join the art contest but there is a problem and now as you can see they are talking about the problem and they're they're trying to find a solution so if you have a problem you need to brainstorm think about the problem try to solve it and as i said to you before, in the math subject, we have a lot of problems and every time we think and at the end, the problems will be solved correctly. So, they have a problem. Who can help me to remember what is the problem? They want to join the art contest. But there is a problem. What is that? That they didn't have enough art materials. Or supply. Or supply. supply. Our classroom supply of art materials is low because, uh, because it's the end of the year. year. So they don't have enough supply in the classroom. So here, as you can see, they are thinking about a solution and one of the kids or the students have an idea. So who can help me to remember what is the idea or what he suggested, let's say. He suggested that we, they use the, the paper from the recycle bin. So he suggested that they can use the old paper again, to reuse it again. Do you think the idea is going to work? Yes. Okay, so let's look over here. As you can see, they used the old papers, okay, to make cranes. Cranes, excellent. To make Cranes, as you can see, okay, and they were so proud of them selves. And do you think they are gonna win? Yes. Okay, so let's read the questions together and try to solve it. Okay, everyone, I want you to open page. 378 to find out how the characters take steps to solve the problem okay so let's see what's written over here so the problem is the classroom supply of art materials is low so they don't have enough materials to join the art contest oh this is a problem right so what they are or what are they going to do 
Pablo suggests reusing paper from the recycling bin. And do you think that they are going to to do this and to reuse the paper from the recycling bin? Yes. I think it's good to use or reuse paper from the recycling bin because you're also saving the earth's resources. Because as you know everyone that papers are made from the trees. Okay, so when we use less papers, it means we're not gonna cut trees. Excellent. And now everyone, let's read these questions together and try to answer them. First of all, I want you to open page 378. Let's read the questions together. How can recycling paper save a tree? When I say recycling, it means we are gonna or I am going to reuse the paper. Not only the paper, for example, if you have old bottle of water, you can use them as a, let's think, a type of game, like, or a pencil holder for pencils. Yeah. And what else? If you have, for example, um, let's say, old CDs, also you can use them to make a robot or something. So you can recycle. Recycle means to reuse the things that you already used okay and you can make or create a new thing so in the story they use the paper to make an art project right yes so what did they do with the old paper it's old paper everyone and they did they folded the paper into cranes and then they attached them to a frame to make a mobile. Great. So let's go back to the question, how can recycling paper save a tree? The paper is already made. Made of? Trees. Excellent. So there is no need to cut down trees to make new ones. Great. Question number two, what does Grace suggest to use with the recycled paper? Old strings and wire hangers. She suggested to use old strings and wire hangers because they are going to hang the cranes or the mobile cranes, we can call them, yeah, around the ceiling or whatever. So how will... Pablo use the papers. Fold the papers into cranes and then he can attach them into a frame to make a mobile. So I'm going to show you a picture of the crane and some examples of art mobiles. So let's look over here. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, there is a bird, right? And you're going to think about it and you will say why there is a bird on the slide. So, so let's read what's written over here. Cranes. So, cranes are birds with long legs, tall bodies, and sharp pointy beaks that that they use for catching food like fish so everyone the art project that uh, they made out of old papers is cranes cranes we call them cranes because see it for they form them like a bird and this bird is called a crane. A crane. After that, what did they do? They hung them, uh, they stick them into wires. They used wires and, and strings, strings to stick them into a mobile. And this is an example of an art mo 
Mobile. Okay, everyone, and now let's move to page 377 and read the first question. What did the children notice about their project? That it looked like cranes were flying. So if you look here, everyone, you can see that their project looks exactly like cranes. Well done. Look, there's two wings. Also, a bee. A bee. Well done. So let's read question number two. What a word did the judges give the class? Most creative use of materials. So they were very creative and they used the old materials to make something new. To make something new. new. Excellent. How did the class feel about the prize? They felt very happy and proud. They were very happy and proud to get the prize. And here we go everyone. So let's complete the graphic organizer. So as I said to you so far, there was a problem in the story, right? And that the students were trying to solve the problem with their teacher. They have an art contest and they want to participate and they started to think about something to do. They don't have materials to make their project. So they started to brainstorm and think about something to participate in the art contest. So let's read here the problem steps of solution and finally the final solution let's see it the problem was that the classroom supply of art materials was low so they don't have enough materials to uh, join the art contest and the steps to solution Pablo suggests reusing paper from the recycling bin grace suggests using string and wire hangers. Miss Simon teaches them how to make cranes. And the solution, the class used the recycled materials to make cranes. So let's check the answers together. Wire hangers, cranes, cranes also. Yeah, it's perfect. So let's read them one more time. Pub, uh, the problem, the classroom supplies of art materials is low. The steps to solution, Pablo suggests reusing paper from the recycling bin. Grace suggests reusing string and wire hangers. Miss Simon teaches them how to make cranes. And the solution is the class used the recycled materials to make cranes. Excellent. So uh, you're going to find a link at the end of the lesson. I want you to click on the link. The link will take you to this page. Here there are some questions. So write your name and then what you are going to do is to read the question and choose the correct answer. So I'm going to read the questions with you. Listen carefully. Question number one. How can recycling paper save a tree? Reduce the number of trees that people cut or encourage people to plant more trees. So as I said to you so far, the papers are made out of trees. And if we reduce the using of the papers by recycling them, we can reduce on the other side the number of the trees that people cut. And in this case we're going to save the earth. So which question or sorry what answer you are going to choose? How will children use the papers? Look at the papers. They will fold papers into kites or they will fold papers into cranes. So what did they do? In this story I mean what did they do with the old papers? They folded to make a kite or they folded to make 
a crane. Here we go. How did the children see their paper cranes from distance? They were only ugly hanging papers or they looked like the cranes were softly flying. And finally, how did the class feel about the prize? Happy and proud or disappointed? And the last question is, what a word did the judges give the class? Most beautiful art project or most creative use of materials? So if you are done, submit your answers and have a great day. Bye everyone. Bye.